In this video I'm going to show you how to use a combined art Photoshop action. So I'm going to use this photo here as an example for a demonstration of the action. And the way the action works is you open up your photo, uh, you brush over the area that you wish to remains in paint and just play the action. And this is the effect that the action creates. Okay, so as you can see what the action does, it turns the whole photo into the sketch and the areas that you brushed will, uh, will be turned into the paint. And uh, there's a lot of options for customizing uh, the design. Uh, everything remains uh, layered, and that way you have co uh, full control. Uh, the action creates the two te different textures, and it also creates uh, a ten color looks that you can choose from, and you can also combine them for creating even more. So, I'm just gonna close these two windows, and uh, when you open up your photo. Before you use the action, there are a few things that you should check to make sure that the action will run without any errors. So the first thing that you should check is that your photo is a background layer, so it should be called background, and here this little lock icon. So if you have something like this or anything else, just go to layer, and you uh, just choose a background for layer. And uh, then click on this menu icon here, and go to the panel options, and just make sure that this option, add copy to copied layers the groups, is checked. Then go to the image mode, and uh, your photo should be in RGB color mode, as with Canal, and check the image size here. So you should avoid using uh, a w a very small photos. Uh, you should use photos that at least about 1500 pixels uh, wide or high, and for best results, somewhere between 20 and 3500 pixels uh, wide or high, right? So this size is uh, is perfect. So just gonna. Uh, to load the action, what you gotta do is to go to Window, Actions, and click on the menu icon, Load Actions, and uh, just choose the action uh, according to your Photoshop version. Uh, the action will appear in your Actions panel. So all you have to do now is just go to Layer, New Layer, uh, to create a new layer, and just name it Brush. It's very important that you type the, uh, the word Brush exactly like this, all letters lowercase. And while this layer is selected, you can uh, just pick a brush tool. Uh, you can choose uh, pick the soft brush and uh, choose any color here. Color doesn't matter. Uh, just pick some colors so you can clearly see what you have brushed. And all you have to do now is to just brush like this or the area that you wish to remain uh, in paint and uh, make sure your opacity brush is set to 100. You can use the lower opacities, but then the paint will be uh, effect will be uh, uh, less visible. It's going to be a faded, right? So you can brush with a 100% brush someplace uh, and somewhere with a when you wish to have uh, a paint that is uh, less visible, you can then brush with a lower opacity. But you you need to have also these 100% opacity brushes, and I'm just gonna. Open my PSD file because uh, I have already done the brushing before. So here it is. Uh, after you finish with the brushing, all you have to do is select the action and click play. And I'm going to fasten the video here uh, and get back as soon as the action is finished. And then I'm going to go through all the layers to show you how can you customize uh, each layer to get most out of the effect. Okay, so the action has uh, just finished. So I'm just going to close the actions panel and I'm just going to expand a little bit these uh, layers panel. So the first thing that you probably want to do each time you run the action is just to quickly close down all these folders because it's going to be much easier for you to work with the layers. And how to easily do that is to just hold control and down button for PC or command option for Mac and while this folder is selected just click on this uh, little arrow there and that we're just gonna close all the all the folders. Uh, the f first layer we got here is the brush layer that you made on the beginning of the video. And uh, if you wish to, for example, just modify this brushed area a little bit, so you wish to add some more areas, or you wish to remove some areas, uh, you don't have to uh, recreate all other uh, to brush again all other areas. Uh, you can just so you can just delete this uh, folder here, brush additional areas, or erase some of these areas, and just play the action again, right? That's why I got this brush layer here. And uh, okay, so. I'm just gonna uh, start casting the effect for the bottom. So just gonna go uh, to the first layer here we got, and it's a background color. So if I hide this uh, layer, it's going to reveal the original photo in the background. 
so when you double click on this color box what you can do here is uh, you can change the background color all right and uh, I'm just gonna keep uh, a default one and uh, what we got here is the sketch folder so this folder uh, creates all the uh, uh, contains all the sketch layers that you that you got there and uh, this one creates the paint so if you wish to you, you can just hide the paint uh, folder and just have a sketch effect uh, all right and um, so anyway I just gonna hide this folder uh, what I like to do is to just hide the, the paint folder and then firstly customize the sketch uh, the sketch layers and then if you wish to use the paint then just turn on the paint folder and then customize layers there right so just gonna keep this folder hidden and go here so what you got there uh, is I can just hide all these layers and start them uh, on one by one so you can clearly see uh, what each layer does so here we got a color sketch and uh, uh, here we got a layer that says a more detail and I'm just gonna uh, Drop the opacity a little bit. Here we got the more detail too. We're gonna change the opacity as well. So uh, uh, when you want to change the opacity, you can just click on the word opacity, drag it to the side, left or right, or you can just open here, the click on this layer over here, and just move this pointer there, right? I'm just gonna set something like this. Here we got a more detail tree layer, and. I'm gonna drop the opacity of this one layer as well. Uh, here we got the rogue sketch. One rogue sketch, two, and rogue sketch three. So for each of these layers, you can experiment with different opacities. Each of them creates a different sketch effect, right? It will uh, make uh, a different sketch detail. So keep experimenting with that. Uh, if you don't wish to use some layer, you can simply hide it, alright, to drop its opacity to zero. Here we got a, a soft sketch one. Uh, I'm gonna increase the opacity of this one. Something like that. Uh, here we got a soft sketch two. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm just gonna set it to something like this. And here we got a main sketch one. And the main sketch two layers all right so not just gonna uh, turn on the paint folder and what we got here uh, these two uh, first two layers are outer paint one and two so they are creating uh, they will add a little bit uh, paint effects outside of your brushed areas all right as you can see so the paint effect will be created over the edges you have brushed and these two layers will add a little bit of paint outside of that areas and they are uh, pretty randomized so if we just run the action again using the same brushed area uh, th those two other paints will be uh, differently deployed and uh, differently arranged they will have a different form right uh, as they are completely randomized uh, but they're always going to be created just around your brushed areas so we can uh, also change their opacities here we got a subject sharpening so this basically is going to sharpen all the areas you have brushed, all right, and uh, where you gotta paint, and uh, except it's going not, it's not going to add a sharpen effect over the other paint areas, all right. So just over the areas you have brushed. Here we got to boost highlights and shadows. And uh, here we got the main subject, all right. So its opacity is dropped about 15, and. Uh, if you want, you can just increase to 100. I'm just gonna leave it to 50. And uh, uh, here we got the layer mask. If you wish to remove some of the paint areas, you can just pick a brush tool and pick some salt brush and just set foreground color uh, to black here. And you can just brush over any areas you wish to, to remove the paint. All right. Just gonna. a little bit like that. Here we got the textures. Uh, we got the help tone and the paper texture here. 
the Hamilton texture is turned on by default and you can just hide it, turn on the paper one if you want and I'm just gonna use the Hamilton and what you can do there is uh, each texture is a smart subject so it got a smart filter, you can double click there and you can make the changes to the texture, just gonna increase the size when you click OK the changes will be updated here and uh, I'm just gonna e maybe increase the opacity a little bit something like that uh, here we get the add noise so just adding uh, some noise to the, to the photo okay uh, here we get a color look, so you got uh, 10 colors that you can choose from all you have to do is to just uh, like the color look that you want uh, turn it on, see how it looks, if it doesn't uh, go well with your photo you can just hide it, try with another and uh, what you can also do, you can combine a few color looks, so for example turn on this one and uh, turn th this one here and then you can just play with the opacities of the boat just like that and create some new color look alright here we got a photo tint so when you double click there uh, you can just increase the density here and uh, choose any filter that you like I'm just gonna use this one and uh, you can also choose a specific color here if you like so I'm just gonna use this one and uh, I'm going to set the opacity to something like this ok uh, here we have the overall contrast so the way you con uh, change the contrast is you just uh, click on the opacity drag it aside just like that ok and here we have the overall vibrance and saturation and by default it's just going to increase the uh, both vibrance and the saturation so I'm just gonna increase it a slightly bit uh, more maybe something like this and here uh, this is the overall brightness so when you double click here uh, you can just move these three pointers here to, to change the, uh, the the brightness this one is affecting the shadows this one are midtones and this one are, are highlights so just gonna increase the shadows a little bit and maybe highlights just slightly just like that okay I'm pretty much happy with this effect so I'll just check quickly before and after so this is the before and this is the after effect okay I hope you understood everything and thanks for watching